food industry sector offers a wide variety of choice and a variety and diversity of careers, whether it be in purchasing or in technical roles or sales and marketing roles or operations, um, and also a very wide variety of different food businesses. Scotland has some great legacy businesses, I would say, for such as the whisky industry and some of our baked good industries. And there's a tremendous heritage there to, to steep yourself in if, if that's something that would interest you. And there's also some smaller cutting edge brands out there as well, which uh, might interest other different types of graduates who are looking for different challenges. Uh, but it's a very broad church. Food scientists and food technologists are absolutely vital to the lifeblood of our companies. I was born in Scotland, uh, moved to Canada when I was three. I uh, lived there for about 21 odd years and then I came back to Scotland to do my master's in uh, food science and microbiology at the University of Strathclyde and I ended up getting a job at Matthew Algies while I was doing my dissertation for my master's degree program. When I started with the company I started as a quality assurance manager and I've worked my way up to being head of uh, quality and regulatory affairs. We supply countries all over the world uh, and for that reason, we need to be clear that the statutory instruments within those countries, that we are complying with them to make sure that we don't send in a product that contains an additive that's not permitted. I studied at Queen Margaret University in Edinburgh. Uh, I studied marketing with sociology, um, which was really important um, to understand the, the context of the wider market. One of the, the companies on my shortlist um, was Weetabix and they employed me as a graduate trainee. Um, so I actually worked on the sales team for a year and then after that you can decide on which discipline you wanted to go into. And I chose marketing. Then shortly um, after my six years there, I got a job with Baxter's. The marketing department are responsible for pulling together the, the proposition. So whatever that might be, whether um, it's a deli inspired range and who is that targeted to, what kind of consumers and what is it they're looking for? What is their consumer need? And once we've identified that, we create a whole kind of concept and proposition that surrounds that, that feeds into a certain market opportunity. That is then briefed into the development kitchen and they start working on recipes that would match that proposition. At the same time, we would also, in tandem, brief a design agency who would then work on the look and feel of, of how that label works um, and marketing are very much responsible for leading that process right the way through. Developing new products is massive to the business because sales go up when you launch and then the product only has a certain life where it starts to go into decline so all the time we have to be looking for new ideas. We've got a review tomorrow at Marks and Spencer's um, and this is for the Italian range. We've already been down twice, so this is our third review. So it's basically, it's hopefully the final show of the kitchen product before we transfer it over to the factory. We then take that into the factory and get all the raw materials to do that and run that through factory trials, get all the nutritionals together um, to create what goes on the packs. This is really the heart of the company. This is the hub of where it all happens. And this particular room is my favourite room. Every single day, first thing in the morning, the whole team from product development meet in here and we can taste up to 50 different products. All the recipes that we've made the day before, as a team with the chef and all the development technologists, we taste and very constructively criticise each other's recipes. And we check and perfect to get the right level of chilli or spice or whatever the recipe requires. <laughs> Thumbs up. Yeah, please. Essentially Lean uh, is all about creating flow within the workplace and the minimisation of waste, uh, the seven wastes, which are transport, inventory, motion, um, waiting, overproduction, overprocessing, defects. So it's all about just understanding where these wastes are applied within uh, the day-to-day -day operations. It's all about uh, filtering down and creating ideas at the shop floor. What we're trying to do is tap into that expertise and knowledge and uh, work with them give them tools and techniques about delivering change within, within the business. Environmental issues are massively important for us here at Pinnies, not just for ourselves but for our customer Marks and Spencer. They have what they call Plan A because there is no Plan B. 
the key things for us as part of our strategy is to reduce our carbon footprint year on year um, and we're successfully achieving that. We're operating at around about 18% reduction year on year and that includes uh, reductions on utilities and on average we're about 11% reduced on, on usage year on year there as well. So it's all helping the environment. With me being here for the 10 year period now and having come straight from university they've continually developed my role to help me with training and other resources in order for me to take on different tasks and different projects, the biomass project being one example. What we had previously was two fuel oil boilers which burned kerosene and supplied steam to the factory and we've now replaced that with one biomass boiler that burns wood chips and supplies steam to the factory. We class it as a carbon neutral fuel. The steam produced from the plant is used throughout the, the factory we're currently looking at other ways of using some of the excess steam on site, for example heating buildings or using it for other purposes. We usually have every year um, a student placement programme um, as well as the placement programme through um, the Business Environmental Partnership. This will be our third year now that we've worked with them, taking on a student for uh, 10 weeks um, and we decide what the, the placement is going to be. This year it's uh, water harvesting, last year it was um, reduction of utilities, gas, electricity and water and the year before we were looking at uh, reducing water consumption. A lot of these initiatives are working. Uh, we're very happy that um, the work and the time that we're investing in such uh, placements is really coming to fruition. Uh, we've seen some great work um, in our environmental work because it's enabling me to put a person to it as a, as a dedicated job. A lot of our recruitment of uh, skilled specialist technologists, scientists is based in close collaboration with academic institutions. At the moment we're uh, hosting three placement students from the University College in Cork. We've just completed two placement studentships for two people from the University of Aberté. Hopefully when placements are successful we use that as the basis of a lot of our recruitment. I graduated from Aberdeen University in Dundee. I've been working here for about 18 months now. I work within each different department within the company for a period of three months, gaining a vast amount of knowledge, skills and processes and development procedures that they go through. I'm in university in Ireland and I'm doing, uh, as part of our degree, we do a six month work placement. So um, we choose uh, companies that we'd like to do interviews for. And obviously I saw McPhee and I uh, relished the chance to go work and travel around Scotland for six months and obviously the company really, uh, it looked really good, like the opportunities they have and working in, in a small development team. I started about three years ago, came straight from school and it's just involving like working in two different departments over in quality control and development. It's just like baking stuff from production, make sure it's all up to scratch and through in development it's like making sure the recipes and everything works before it goes out to customers. Very, very rewarding job, yeah. Walk into the store and you see your products. You know, it's a fantastic feeling, you know. Proud, proud moments. I love everything here, I love my job. I, I love the people who work here, I love the industry I'm in. That's why I'm here. <laughs>